Street. You know, we're almost finished with the first month of 2024. It's not too late, though, to figure out how you want to spend the rest of your year, even the rest of your life. Best-selling author, founder of Purpose Point, and the upcoming Purpose uh, Summit that's coming to Charlotte in late April. Davin Salvagno is with us and a friend of mine. Nice to have you back in Charlotte. Jason, so great to be here. I love the city, love coming here, love spending time with you. Thanks for having me back. You know, it's interesting when you look at this time of year, right? You got most folks out there uh, coming up with New Year's resolutions. It's sort of, it's the start of the new year, right? You kind of look back at how things were last year and you go, hey, did I, did I meet the expectations that I set for myself? And when you look at statistics, when it comes to New Year's resolutions, Davin, 9% of Americans, they don't complete them. 23 fail after the first week. 43%, by the end of January, they stop altogether. What is it about the turning of the new year? that kind of puts us into that mood of, let's start new. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's fitness goals, financial goals, personal goals, professional goals. We all start the new year and say, here's who I want to be this year. Or here's what I want to accomplish this year. Here's what I want to do. We want to be better versions of ourselves. So we have really great intentions to start the year. And then we get 30 days in and this, you know, the people who signed up for the gym in January 1, February 2nd can't be found, right? And so we tend to think, you know, long term. And then when we fail on our goals, we say, oh, we'll chalk it up to there's always next year. But we can start where we are and start over that day and treat each day like a new year. I love that. And we're going to break that down here uh, in just a second. You spend a lot of time with organizations and companies out there trying to make a bigger difference. It's not always about the bottom line and about the, the money that comes in at the end of the year. But how do organizations, how do they do that? How, how do they try to focus on people more? And that, that right there is the thing I'm most passionate about, is we have companies that they measure all sorts of KPIs and different you know, business metrics, but they know that the people that work in their organizations have goals for themselves. And there's a big opportunity for organizations every single year to, rather than maybe just focusing simply on traditional performance reviews, to say, hey, who, who do you want to become this year? What do you want to accomplish this year? And how can we help you do that by working here in our organization? And we're starting to see more and more organizations take that focus on their people of who they want to become and what they want to do and incorporating that into their professional goals and their planning for the year. I love that. And a lot of people do look at KPIs, the key performance indicators. You're suggesting change it to key purpose indicators and really start to care about people, which is not a crazy idea, Davin. It's not. It's not, you know, The greatest measure of purpose is who we help our people become. We've got people in our organizations that every leader has a responsibility to steward. And a lot of times, we look at business and we use people to build our businesses rather than using our businesses to build people. And this isn't, this isn't a crazy idea. If you, either, I didn't come up with this. For years, you can look and say, hey, take care of our people. They'll take care of our customers and our customers will take care of our business. And so often, we just tend to focus on building the business rather than building the people and then letting the people build the business. Well, I like that, man. You, you got your preacher tie on today, I can tell. All right, listen, I do want to, before we run out of time, I want to mention, uh, we've got some graphics we're going to put up there. There are three different mission fields for companies out there, and I think this can be for small businesses and even large corporations. And this is sort of, you start on the inside of like a target, you know, like a bullseye, but then there's ripple effects as it goes out. And we're looking at these three, we start with people. That's You've right. got to take care of them first, That's right. or you're not going to get to the other parts. That's right. Yeah, I mean, every, there's a lot of organizations that have noble goals about taking care of the planet and conscious capitalism and ESG and all those different things that are out there. But the people who are most burnt out are those in the nonprofit sectors, those trying to do well. And so a lot of times what we do is we try to focus on how do we make the community better? How do we make the world better? But we miss the first and second mission field is how are we making sure that our people who work here are okay? And then how do we make sure their families are okay? When people leave here, do they go home and do they give their families their best or do they go home and do they give their families their leftovers? Mm -hmm. So if we could focus on first, mission field of our people, and then the second mission field of their families, then we can focus on the communities that we serve in, and then ultimately making the world a better place for everybody. Oh man, I, I just, I love that. And I love the visual of ripples and water starting in the center, centric, and it just builds out and it will affect the community. It will affect uh, the rest of the planet. And something that I wanna mention coming up uh, before we let you go this morning is the end of April is the Purpose Summit. This is gonna be huge, a thousand folks, all right? People are gonna be coming in from all over the world, Davin. We want folks here even in the Queen City. This is our hometown where we need to start making a difference so that we can go out uh, into the rest of the world. Why is this event 
going to be so huge for leaders and those that want to be leaders? Well, we are so excited to bring the fifth anniversary of the Purpose Summit to Charlotte. And it's a global event, right? And so you just mentioned ripple effects. What's really great is there's some really good organizations in Charlotte, which is why we brought it here, like Broad River Retail, Licensee of Ashley Home Store, Coca-Cola Consolidated, that are doing a lot of the things that we just talked about. There's a lot of organizations who are living this out. We want to shine the spotlight on what good looks like and bring leaders into the conversation to say, hey, if we focus on our people, which is the number one purpose of our organization, organization, and then we focus on the purpose of the organization and connect these dots, we can make a difference in not just the people who work in our organization, but our communities in the world. And so this ripple effect will reverberate from Charlotte throughout the country, and then we've got some really things, great things planned for next year, but that's for another time. That but it's right. going to start here it in Charlotte. I love it. We're going to feel the ground break uh, at the end of April, end of May. Davin, thanks for coming on, sharing a part of your passion for other folks. And you, in turn, can share that passion and really care about other people for 2024.